This is the busy season for the makers of Clarissa's cookies. Boxes by the dozens are going out the door to places all over the country. I think they're great. <laughs> they're very good. They make a wonderful gift. Oh, yes. And this is where it all begins. In a garage turned bakery, this is a daily process. And here, it's God's work at the hands of the Capuchin Poor Claire sisters who came to North Denver from Mexico. And when we came here, we need to know how it was to be the work, not to, to be done, to support ourselves. And then we started baking cookies. That was seven years ago. Now Clarissa's cookies, named for St. Clair, have become a full-time operation for these nuns who rarely leave and speak only when necessary. Even though this is their daily work, never has baking gotten in the way of the sisters' lifelong mission. Closer life doesn't mean that we do not uh, have any contact with people, but just to live in a special place uh, dedicated to pray. And many people also come to our door for uh, intentions to pray for, mm -hmm. or just to talk. And it's part of our mission in life is to that too. Self-sufficiency is also part of that mission. And I was thinking I might order a couple more boxes and have them <coughs> sent. Can I do that? Okay. And at this time of year, the orders just keep pouring in. Did you order Good cookies? Morning. Good morning. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, how many? Anne Trujillo, 7 News.